Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and today we are going to do another painting. And today's painting is going to be another things I've never done before pour, and this will be the kiss technique. Um, watched a few videos on it. I think I originally saw it from Mixed Media Girl. Um, never tried it. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna give it a shot. So the first cup we're gonna do, we'll have red, yellow, Try to get you in frame and silver and then the second cup will have the navy blue the green and the gold all of these are artist loft flow acrylics mixed with flow troll and water and so i'll go ahead and get these cups poured and then we'll come back to do the pour we'll be right back All right, we are ready to do the pour. There was a close-up of the cups before we get started. And then the intent here is to try like a tree ring type pour in the middle of the canvas, but with the two like streams touching each other. So here we go. Give it my best. It just looks like a really muddy mess right now. Okay, I think that will be plenty of paint. <laughs> we will have to do a leftover paint pour with these other ones. Maybe in a future video this week. Um, yeah, it definitely looks like they blended a lot. Um, but let's see what happens. Because <laughs> that's all we can do. <laughs> There's no orange in here. I'm almost out of the orange that I mixed ages ago that I don't really like. Finally, I'm almost done with that one. Very earthy tones though, it's kind of unique. Definitely didn't really maintain too many tree ring lines, it was just very muddy. And I'm sure I'm just like over stretching it, had I had a base coat on it would have helped some. But yeah. I feel like there's still a little bit too much paint on here, but I'm okay with it. I'm gonna leave it because I don't want to run it off in either direction and like lose all the orange or lose all the blues and greens. I want it to still show all of the colors that we've used. So I will take these gloves off and torch it. The torch is still almost not covered. I did use a lot of the silver and a lot of the gold in hopes of getting some of it to come through because the last few times I've used my silver and gold, I haven't been getting any cells out of them. So I wanted to use ample amount of those paints and the silver is definitely coming through. The gold might be coming through. It's kind of hard to tell. Have to wait till it dries and see how it shimmers in the light. But let's do the close up. All right, here we are for the close up. We'll start in the lower left hand side. This would be our red and orange and silver side, or sorry, red, yellow and silver side. So it definitely got orange from the red and the yellow. A few areas where it's more red than not, but not really any just like solid red. It definitely blended. Um, and then tons of little silver cells and not so little cells, but yeah, lots of, lots of silver peeking through. So that's really cool. And then on the right hand side, which is the darker color side, we do have one pretty cool orange ring here, kind of a blown up by the silver cells. And then lots of little bitty cells 
in with the greens and the blues. Some random purple shade there. I'm not sure if that's just on the camera, if that's also to my eye. Really pretty middle here with all the blues and oranges mixing together. I really like that. It's in the lower right hand corner. So, interesting experiment. I wish the colors were a little bit sharper and didn't blend as much, but I think it was a success given the task of the kiss technique. So, yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and do what makes you happy.